Hello and welcome to a My Mini Maths video tutorial and today we're going to be looking at long division and this, this video can help with the arithmetic target question 16 and also number 40. So for both question 16 and 40 on the SATS arithmetic practice. And for long division there are three options available to you um, and I'll go through each of these and give an example for each of when they can be used and when they can't be used. All of these options are identical for either a three digit or a four digit value. It makes no difference at all. Okay, so we'll start with the first option, which is actually my favorite, but it can't always be used or it's best not to always use it. And that's the two step option, uh, sometimes known as the factor option as well. So let's have a look at an example. It's all about the divisor. So if I take my first example, and we're going to divide that by 24. Now it's this part here which helps us decide which of the three approaches to take. So because this is 24, quite a nice number, we can break it down into two factors. And it doesn't matter which pair of factors you choose. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm going to go for four and six. Four and six. You could also use three and eight as well, but what we're looking for are two single digit factors. Now, the reason why it's a two step, because there's two parts to it. So the first part is we're going to divide the number by four, the first factor. So that's 7,632. And I'm going to divide that by the four, okay? So fours into seven, just using the standard short bus stop method goes once and I carry the leftover three over. Fours into 36, go nine, nothing to carry over. Fours into three, won't go. So we're going to carry the unused three over and fours into 32, go eight for 1,908. And what we do is we use this value from the first step and then divide by the second factor here. So sixes into one, won't go, carry the one over. Sixes into 19, go three, carry the one. Sixes into 10 will fit once, carrying four over. And sixes into 48, go eight times. And then this gives us our final answer of 318. I know lots of children who find this the easiest method because of the short division, uh, which is much easier to use than the two digit value. Um, but the there are limitations. It's great, you need, you're looking for a number that will break down into two single digit factors. Okay, so for example, if I take the next example, which is dividing 459. Don't forget, it doesn't matter if it's a three or a four digit number we're dividing. And we're gonna divide it by 17. Now, the problem with 17 is it's a prime number. So the only options we have are one and 17, which means that the, the two-step option won't work. It makes no difference to the, uh, to the outcome. So if we remove that, we're going to need to use the short method, but with a double digit number instead. So what's always useful, and the children in my classes always find very useful, is to create a list of multiples for that value. So if I work my way through, 68, 85, the next 102, and then 119, and so on. Okay, and we're gonna divide these in. So 17 into four won't go. So carry the unused four over. Now 17 into 45 will go twice and 34 leaves 11 left over now the only this is fine this this example but sometimes it can leave you with really big numbers to calculate into okay and we'll come to that shortly what the other option the final option is so how many 17s fit into 119 well that's going to be one two three four five six seven and that gives us a final answer of 27 so I would say for nearly all of your long division questions, the two step or this short method with the multiples will, will work beautifully. The most examples in SATs questions are quite straightforward. So you could use one of these. You can certainly try and look at the factor option first. If that won't work because it's a prime number, then you could always use the short method as shown on the second example here. 
So on to the final option. So my example, 5,394 and we're dividing by 29. Now, the first thing we notice is it's a prime number, so we can't use the two step. Now, if we start looking at using the short method, the second option, we'll find that the numbers become just too big. So let's have a look at that as an example. So if I decided that I was going to use the multiple option, so two lots of 29 is 58, I can look here, 29 into five doesn't go, carry the five over, 29 into 53 goes once, leaving 24 and as you can see that 249 is quite a large number and it starts to become quite tricky so for this we're going to need sorry it's too far what we're going to need to use is there's various options for for, for long division but i'm going to show you chunking which is quite a popular option uh, and but again i'd only use this if the previous two options won't work for you so let's have a little look the first thing i would do is create a chunking map so one lot of 29 is 29 two lots of 29 is double 58 then i would choose 10 lots of 29 is 290 and then five lots is going to be half of that so that's 145 20 lots of 29 is double so 10 lots that's 580 then we have 100 lots of 29 which is 2900 and the final chunk in the map is 50 lots, which is half. And you can start to see the patterns that are appearing there. So here we go. So the first value I'm going to take away is 2,900. Okay, which is this one here. Okay, so that's 100 lots. And that leaves me remembering to borrow with 2,494. Okay, I can't take 2,900 away next time, so we have to take a smaller chunk away. So probably the 1,450 makes most sense there. And we know that that's 50 lots of 29 that have been used. Let's see what we're left with, 1,044. So this time the previous chunk is too big again. So we're going to go with a smaller chunk so let's have a look let's go with the 580 here so that's the 20 lots okay so that's four now four take away eight we can't do and we can't borrow from the zero so we're going to borrow from the thousands bringing it back one column at a time don't forget so borrow from the 10 bring it back 14 take away 86 900 take away, 500 is 400, and then there's nothing in the thousands. Now, the next one we're going to take away is 290, this one here. So subtract 290, which is 10 lots. And that leaves us, which we've borrowed, with 174. Then we can take away go back to blue I think we could take away 145 which is this chunk here which is five lots okay and that's going to leave us with if we borrow 14 take away five is nine six take away four is two and then there's one more to take away which we'll do down here Take away the 29, which gives us nothing left over. Okay, and then we can have, have a little look at how many we've used. So we've used 100, 150, 170, 180, 185, 186. You'll always get, it will work for every example of this, but the, as you can see, it's quite a long way of doing it. But it's also a really good option if you've got a, a more complicated example, and also if you have a, a remainder, it can work really well for. Right, so I've given you quite a few ideas there. Again, I would always prioritise the two-step factor option to begin with. If that doesn't work because of the prime number divisor, move on to the short 
bus stop option. And then if that's too complicated, you've always got the third and final chunking method to fall back on. Okay. Okay, that's everything for today. Thank you very much for listening and please subscribe to the My Mini Maths Video Tutorial YouTube channel for all the latest news, updates and videos. Take care and I'll speak to you again soon.